Welcome back in Safety Matters. Home fires are the most common disaster people face in this country. And most people don't have a plan if it happens. Our Christina Tatro is live with Fresno Fire this morning with a closer look at fire safety. Good morning. And we want to tell you guys three things that you need to keep in mind to make sure that you and your family are safe, especially when it comes to home fires. Just like Joe and Jessica were saying, I mean, they're so common and so unsuspecting. I'm here with Chris with the Fresno Fire Department. He's going to go ahead and tell us what are those three things. Well, it's uh, look, listen, and learn. And we uh, try to emphasize those during the month of October during Fire Prevention Week. And one section we want to show you guys right now is that oftentimes where we encounter fires is electrical issues in the home. Especially see, here in the living room, right? Absolutely, yes. We, you see here we have a power strip that's plugged in. Right now we're okay. We have the, you know, less than what's required or less than what's available. But sometimes what people will do is they'll come over and they'll take another power strip and they'll plug this one in here. And now they'll run it over across the living room or the, perhaps over into a kitchen. And they'll plug in a whole bunch of new things in here. So you'll have other things plugged in here. And uh, what this does is it overloads the circuit in your home, causing issues with the electrical places in your house here. So you see now I have this. I have this extension cord also running over here that could potentially power a microwave or potentially power a refrigerator. And those are things that you don't want to do because you'll encounter problems when you have uh, too many things plugged into a power cord. So. And so I want to know how many things should you have plugged into these power strips? These are so common in a household. They are. Well, what, well, they're rated usually for as many plugs as there is. If, for okay. instance, this one here has five, so I would only plug five things in there. And that doesn't mean plug in five microwaves or five refrigerators. That means plug in your cell phone charger, a DVD player, a TV. That should be plenty. And especially the power strip to power strip is a really common mistake you were saying. Yes, it is. Um, we find that quite a bit actually in residential structures and also in, in uh, commercial businesses where it's the cheaper way rather than having a plug somewhere. As you can see here, I have this power strip here that I chained from this other one. However, if I just unplug this and plug this into this plug here, mm -hmm. I'm so much safer now. And so what makes it so much safer in the wall as opposed to these? Well, these have individual wires that come from the circuit board to their plugs here. And when you take this and overload it with a bunch of uh, appliances or a bunch of different electrical um, things, then you end up having problems because you'll overload one circuit. Right. So. And if something does happen in your home, we're going to be talking about that in just a little bit here. Things that you need to make sure that you have in your home in case something does happen, as well as good old fire extinguishers. I mean, I don't think really a lot of people know how to use those, so we're going to be giving you guys some tips on how to do so. I have to be honest, I have no idea how to use a fire extinguisher. You don't? It's one of those things that, you know, you, I don't know I mean, how to use it. I haven't had an emergency. I've never had to use one, but I, I think it's pretty easy. Let's